Welcome in everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello. My name is Lazu Shen. Once again, back again with AI the Somnium Files. I'm excited to get back into AI. It's becoming one of my favorite games so far. <laughs> I mean, I am an Uchikoshi fanboy, but <laughs> even then, even then, I think the quality of this game like speaks for itself. So without further, let's just get into it, guys. Let's just uh, not waste any time. Last time we left off, we talked to Coda's mom and then to Coda, and then we got uh, gaslit and like blackmailed into bringing a random child who I I think they're alluding that this is like my kid and uh, <laughs> like Date just doesn't remember. I don't know how that happened, but we are we are like literally in her house. And we're seeing her mom, and the, the creepy part is that her mom is the one that we saw in our own Somnium, like, dead on the floor. There was another guy, too. Like, a black-haired guy. But, uh, dude, uh, there's uh, only questions, you know? Only questions. Let's just get into it. You're... You're... Nice to meet you. Okay, hopefully the volume is okay. I'm mother, Hitomi. 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 And you are? Kaname Date from the MPD. From the MPD. Police. Police, yeah, your your daughter is under arrest. Are you a detective? <laughs> Why does everyone know that? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris. Oh, right. <laughs> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Got myself some bubble tea for today. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on the tray. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. All oh, these balls in my mouth, guys. Got these balls. Okay, let's see. Cushion. I've seen that cushion somewhere before. No, not just the cushion. I saw this, I saw this entire room in my dream last night. Is there a problem, Date? No, that's nothing. Dude, I, I mean, I but already figured it out, you know? A cushion. I'm sure of it. Iris and her mother, Hitomi, are sitting on the sofa. Okay. Let's see, workbooks. There's some elementary workbooks on the table. But looking closely, one, one in the middle is different. Osagami Sumo Wrestler D Directory. Osagami Sumo? <laughs> okay, cool. Tea. Steam is rising from the tea. A coffee table. Okay, those are all easy. The flower. Flowers. Those are the it's same ones. Iris. It's an iris. Oh, it's an iris. <gasps> oh. An iris. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Bloom in May. That's the winter iris. It's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. Ungicularis. They bloom in the. That cold. sounds like a. Technique. They bloomed just this morning. No, oh, nice. See. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. Good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Okay, give me one. Let me just, yeah, move my fat head over for a second. Okay, that was a weird silence. A winter iris. It means good news and hope. So because it bloomed today, she thought something good would happen today? Telephone in the corner. Okay, good. Why is everyone covered in mud? There's a drawing on the wall. I wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. Yeah, so I see there's Iris's mom and told me there's Iris. And then there's this like other dude. <laughs> but if Iris is my kid when she was younger, does that make me the black? Did I like dye my hair? You see the sky, the tree in the sky is outside. Okay, good. Nothing crazy, just a window. Okay, anything else around me? Dude, she's, she got the grippers out. Free feet? Mom, you can't be showing people free feet, mom. Come on. Entrance, it's the front door. Okay, shoebox, it's a shoebox. What do they smell you like? Are beyond perverted. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so, you know, Date, like us, is a connoisseur. Hey. These thoughts are private, okay? I wonder what they smell like. <laughs> Dude, he's so nasty. It's a calendar and a strange object on the shelf. Reminds me of a kind of 
angel. What is that object? A wooden shelf? That's not a shelf, that's a drawer. There's a table, a tabletop calendar, a mysterious object on the shelf. Okay, cool. Clock? A clock? A clock in a spiel? A bookshelf? There are no books on it. It's definitely a bookshelf. I saw it in a catalog before, so I know. I I mean, I feel like these kind of bookshelves, like the, the, the less... The less that you, like, have on the bookshelf, the better it looks. A bookshelf? So it's one of those, like, you buy it just for aesthetic of an empty bookshelf. The lights are off. Okay, sick. The lights are off. Huh. Okay. Refrigerator. A refrigerator. A riddle. A riddle. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? What? 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 The solution is this. Okay, here we go. Here, here. It better be good, Iba. You open the door. Put the giraffe in and close the door. That's not true at all. The giraffe would not fit in the refrigerator. What kind of a riddle is that? Another riddle. Okay. How do you put an elephant in the refrigerator? Okay. Isn't it the same answer? Open the door, put it in, close the door. It's not going to be the same though. Incorrect. The giraffe is already You have inside. to take out the giraffe, yeah. You must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. But th neither of these would fit in a refrigerator. That is the solution. Your riddles could use some work. I agree. <laughs> Yeah. There's a lot of dishes. There are a lot of dishes in the cupboard. A dining table. You always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. Oh, with the Ouija? It's not a divining table. It's a dining table. Kitchen counter. I can't see from there, uh, them from here, but there's probably a sink and stove on the other side. It's a kitchen counter. Door. There's a door in the back of the room. Okay, let's... I think we're just about done talking with uh, the room here. Except for the ceiling fan. It is spinning. Light. It's for lighting. <laughs> just some classic, basic stuff. Okay, I think we're done talking to the room. Let's talk to Iris and uh, Hitomi here. You look chipper. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? A there hunch. There flowers blooming behind me, right? The true? There are, yeah. <laughs> oh God! What? <laughs> I don't like the way you're 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 doing this. Uh, there are flowers blooming behind you. About the flowers. Iris is hinting, but the flowers blooming behind her. Okay. About the flowers. Okay. So, I, I guess I'll look at the flowers. It didn't do anything because there's nothing new. You good guy. How long have you been living I was here? Born, and mom was living here before that. Oh, I, that that's that's great, mom. I grew up in this house. <laughs> wow, wow! I've made a lot of memories here. Your mom is older than you? That's crazy. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because... Because I'm poor. There was... Huh? Oh, there was an incident. There was an incident here. Ooh, you were saying... Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Better not have some, like, knockout medicine oh, inside. Right. Huh. We haven't even touched our cups. Yeah, uh, kind of well, odd. Then. Let's have a sip. Yeah. Let's have a sip of the tea. Oh, I didn't get to finish the rest of the dialogue. Oh, I guess that's left -handed? fine. You left-handed? left -handed? Uh, She did use left hand, huh? Oh. Uh. She injured her right hand in an accident. Mom used to be right-handed. And then got stabbed through with a knife. But now... Hmm. Hmm, she's touching her right hand like it hurts right here. It locked up on me. Ah, oh, I see. It locked up on you? What's that mean? Just unlock it, idiot. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! Rawr! How am I supposed to react to that? What, what do I say, though? Yeah. Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Uh, okay, I have a... Thank God I have Iba on my side. But the flowers... I can see the flowers. But I can't... There's nothing I can do about the flowers other than... Ira. Okay. Look. Mm -hmm. I can't really do much about the flowers. Let's we'll, we'll come back to it later after I touch the dining table, and also touch Hitomi. 
May, may I ask how old you are? You know, it's not it's not polite to ask a lady how old they are, Date. Their age is a secret number. I'm 37. Oh, that was a really fast answer. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. Mm -hmm. You were very young when you had her. True, that's quick maths right there, buddy. Yes, just 19 years old. You can do math. What about your husband? He got, he got like awkwardly silent in here. <laughs> he got like awkwardly silent. Okay, don't talk about the husband. But if this is my kid. I that makes me the husband. One. Divorce. Mister Date, please. I'm a detective. I mean, I'm a yeah. This is my it's job. All right, Iris. This is my job, or okay. L give I've me. never been married. Huh? That that's not the answer I was expecting. A single mother. Yes. Okay, sure. Where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? L local elementary school? Must be a tough oh, job. that's why she has the books on the desk for the <laughs> elementary school students. <laughs> Not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. This is where you and I differ, Tommy. But what's with the wrestling catalog? <laughs> so these are all her books? Why does she have a wrestling catalog? Huh. Interesting. The Renju, Okura. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate. How did Mr. that happen? Okira. Oh, Okira. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Mmm. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Oh, thanks, buddy. Then tell me something. Do you know Renju's ex-wife? Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Mmm. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. How does the fabric on her dress work? It like, it, it like bunches up and then goes upward underneath the tits. Like Why safety pins? Ask? No reason. Mm, or like a, a string to hold it up, you know? Okay, cool. Hitomi, goodbye. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. <laughs> well, I didn't get to do the, the, the option for, for, for Iris. I stood and headed for the door, but it didn't let me, you know, like, touch the flower at all. Mr. Dante, we'll see each other again, right? Uh, I don't know, actually. You sure you want that? I'm a cop, after all. I'm a cop, dude. I'm a narc. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best <laughs> circumstances. Oh. Yeah, you'll be in jail behind bars. But I'll take you downtown. Mizuki's friend. Yeah, we might see each other again. Mizuki, oh, that's right. She is kind of like my roommate, after all. What? Anyway, I'm seeing you. <laughs> She's like, huh? Why are you? Why are you roommates with a uh, huh? So good, dude. So good. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, well, left hand. Remember. I home. All right. Take care. Date. This is weird, Date. You're you're being really weird right now, sir. <laughs> dude, this guy is losing it, dude. Uh, I but can you just can you just tell me like what's going on between me and this woman? Because there's obviously something that's wrong with me, and I I I can't have this. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Interrupting my work here. Good idea. All right, me and you, Date, myself. Allow me to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Date. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. That's crazy. Perhaps he's had too much medication. Hmm, that's me. Focus, you got this. Play a game. Hey, me. Wanna play a game? Let's play a game, sure, me. Sure, let's play I Spy. I spy with my little eye something that is super sexy. I spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I win. <laughs> I will terminate you. You can't terminate me. I'm me. Don't push yourself, Date. No, I'm fine, Date. You do not appear to be fine. I'm fine, Aiba. Butt out, dude. Now, how will this handsome gentleman... How about this handsome gentleman? Oh, it's me. Okay. I can see myself through Aiba. Okay, dashboard, the dash, dashboard. 
Dash bored. Dash really bored. A dash snooze fest. The dash. S sensor con console. Wheel? Iba is fitting into the center of the wheel. Oh, that's Iba there. Oh, Iba's there. I was like, where? She's charging. Oh. Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Doc? You don't have to ask. You know already. I'll just think it. No. Not at all. Why would I hide them there? What? What is the... Dude, no one has ever hid their risque material in a glove box. It's so hard to access. You have to go walk to your car every time you want to, you know, have a little bit of just uh, private time. That's a little bit too much. Okay, Iba, talk to me here. Alright, Iba, me and you. About Shoko's corpse. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. <laughs> How am I supposed to drive if you, like, cover my entire vision with this block, Iba? The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. So that's the cause of death. And then there's also strangulation and also the eyeball is missing. But the eyeball is missing after the fact. Because she had the eyeball previously. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. Mm hmm DNA over the murder weapon. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. And Mizuki's prints are all over the weapon because she's holding it. Okay. Let's hear about the timeline of events. Aiba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Okay. Your Friday yesterday, approximately. who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Mizuki receives a Nile message. Unknown sender requests to come to Bloom Park. Mizuki calls Ota and asks him to accompany her to Bloom Park. Mizuki and Ota discover Shoko's corpse. Ota leaves Mizuki, flees crime scene. Ota reports crime via payphone. First responders arrive on the scene, discover Shoko's corpse. Shoko's corpse. Date arrives at the scene. So somebody baited Mizuki to to the the park in order to frame her for this murder. It seems perhaps, and then hmm. Probably the culprit themselves. 5 p.m. is the time of death. Interesting. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Hmm. It was an unknown sender, but she did it anyway. It, it, it must have it must have included something else that would, like, force Mizuki's hand. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Hmm. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? This, is, this should be easy for you, Aiba. Nile's security protocols are intricate. But you can do it. It will take time to decipher. Mm-hmm. Shoko's corpse. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. That's true. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Some kind of, like, elaborate... Maybe it's a, it's a serial killer. You know, this is like their their M.O. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Okay, about Shoko's corpse. More? Even more about Shoko's corpse. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. Oh, that's right. That eyeball has yet to be found, according to Iris's testimony. It was there, right? When Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. Mm-hmm. And so, like, so Shoko... Sorry, yes. Mizuki took it out of the eyeball. Could she have taken the eye? About the blood stains. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Hmm. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. Yeah, that's true. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She's 12. <laughs> 12-year-olds can't kill adults. No, she's too weak physically, obviously. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? I was considering her a suspect. You can't consider... You can't, like, rule anybody out just because she lives with me. That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. You have to follow the lead. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I agree. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. <laughs> oh, that's right. I, I, I forgot about that part. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. I wouldn't be so sure. Iba, well, why was Mizuki inside the column? That's a good question, actually. 
Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. Okay, thank you, Iba. I was merely joking, as you call it. <laughs> I laughed. Ah, stupid guy. <laughs> you on your mind right now? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I mm. noticed something strange. What's the strange thing? Strange? There were no cars. There were no cars? Interesting. Does that mean does that mean Shoko like walked there of her own volition as well as um like the killer? Yesterday in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Interesting. Are you sure? I am. Then how did the suspect move the corpse? Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> she teleported both of them. Damn, that's a, that's interesting. It's not like a locked room mystery per se. Because technically, like, you know, anyone can walk in and out. But the surveillance camera, like, the person would have to know the surveillance camera, like, blind spots. For one. And then for two, like, killer perhaps lured her there. It, it, there's a lot of possibilities. We don't, we, we were, like, lacking too much information here. Welcome back. Thanks, boss. I brought her here after her examination was over. Well, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for the warm welcome back, you sleazy... <laughs> Lecherous, lewd individual. Talking about lewd stuff. I wonder if Has we have like anything? a. I wonder if a Boss and I had like a, a something going on, because the way she talked, like you know, she's kind of she was she was like kind of sad. After saying like a sexual statement, she was like, you know, that's kind of sad that we never. <laughs> no, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Mm. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. Poking a few of the nurses with like a needle? So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden he seemed very open to the idea. I see. That's not permission, it's blackmail. <laughs> yeah, same thing. It's the same deal. Either way, there was. <laughs> you know what you need Never to mind. do now, right? Sync with her. I will sync with her. P sync. Sync with the P. Here we go. Oh my god, jeez. This is the sink machine? This is like a death trap. It's like the, the, the Saw movie. What's this guy's name again? I want to say Albert. P Pewter. <laughs> I was like not close at all. I don't know why I thought Albert. Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. Okay. Let's see. There's an enormous machine beyond the window. This machine is known as the sink machine. Cool. Mizuki. Try talking to her. She can't hear me from here. Mizuki. Mizuki is lying on the sink machine on the other side of the glass. Okay. So I I'm, I guess I sit at the other side. And then I go to her somnium. Looks like the manual for the sink machine. There's a lot of high-tech stuff in here, guys. Just the chair. Anything else? Oh. I clicked out by accident. Lockers, a locker. Classic, alternative, progressive. <laughs> That's rock. That's rock. Pro a prog rock. Nothing on the monitor. Okay, so there's monitors on and off. It op I opened it up. It it's completely packed with books. There's also a homoerotic BL manga and gay romance novels. Interesting, Pewter. Interesting. So Pewter's into BL then. Shouldn't hide them in the first. You know, <laughs> the first shell from the door, though. Date, look. They're playing Smash in the monitor. It's the girl from that horror movie coming out of the well. Oh shit! The ring. What the hell are you talking about? It's the ring girl. No one is crawling out of it yet. That's kind of ominous. Door. I can leave. A locker in the corner of the room. Long table. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. <laughs> Oh, the foldable long tables. Now where on earth did you learn that? Uh, obviously, the WWE. Previously known as the WWF. Before it was cancelled. <laughs> the door to the sink room. So, not much in this room, actually, to, to look at. Let's just talk to the boss. Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? Of course she did. She's the boss. I couldn't get in touch with him. Oh, what the fuck? What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. 
Ah, we're doing this not by the books, guys. We're some crooked cops. <laughs> no legal guardian permission, we're just gonna sync with her. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. He w and then he went off the radar. Whoa. Why would he? Ooh, ooh. He, he got questioned and then went off the radar. I don't know. Completely dark. Interesting. If we don't do it now, then when? I agree. This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. I agree. I don't know anything about Abyss, but I agree. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Help her do what? Her aphonia is psychogenic. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. <laughs> Thank you. Is understandable. That's like all of society, though, like boss. I don't know. I don't know if you know this. You're describing like a large majority of people. You may be able to heal her, Date. Okay, I'll heal You're her the then. The only one who can. Don't don't talk to me in that like you know like very. <sighs> Any problems with the investigation? You're asking me that now. Yeah, I am. Before I'm I go in, I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. <laughs> oh, so you're useless without me, then, boss? Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. Hmm. But she isn't answering any questions. So the it's up to me to then. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Okay, I, I suppose so, boss. Me and you, Peter. About Iba. Hey, Peter. About Iba. Could you do something about her? Personality. <laughs> Her personality sucks. Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike. If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eyesight. You won't even know it, Aiba. I will literally turn you into someone more agreeable and you won't even know. Huh. <laughs> so you were listening, huh? Ooh, there's a thing. Is he playing gotchas? I can't see. How's Mizuki doing? Her vitals are stable. Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Okay, are you sure? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? Well, can you die from a sink if you're 12? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. Dude, I I don't know, dude. This sounds this is this seems kind of suspect. <laughs> I hate when people say that the machine is safe with so much confidence. Wait, his name is... He's a member of Abyss. Like, I missed his name. Hold on. He invented a, uh, I, Iba as well. Hold on. Let me go into the file. People. His name is... Uh, where is he? Mizuki Renju Mai, Mayumi. Hold on. I didn't get Pewter's thing. Hold on. What? Bruh. I, I missed his name. His real name was like an enemy or some shit. <laughs> I didn't see. No. BL. Boys love. A depiction of love and eroticism between men. Although it sounds vulgar, it is often a display of pure, sublime love. And there are many worthwhile works of art in the genre. Don't be so close-minded. <laughs> they, they already knew that you would hate BL. Illuminati? Interesting. Shovel Forge! A masterpiece of a sandbox video game in which you create structures of stacking cubes on a map. A sandbox game refers to a game in which there's no story or goal, allowing the player just to relax and play. <laughs> they change it for legal reasons. Dork! A geek? A loser. Interesting. A set, you bet. That's A set's catchphrase. Dojinshi. Okay, X ray mode. Nile. Cool. Okay. So uh, now I'll, I'll catch his name some other time for sure. Until uh, until then, let's uh, let's go ahead and sync with her. You ready? We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sync room. Got it. Let's sync in. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Reacting to what? Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She's literally awake, dude. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. Dude, I How think do I do she that? can hear you. It's true that she can't speak to you. But she can hear you. Try talking. Wait, what? Her. Sure thing, boss. 
She can't speak to me. She can hear me. Hold on. The sink machine. There's nothing else in here but the sink machine. Sink gear. The sink gear. The, the sinker and the subject both wear the gear over their eyes during the sink. It acts as a kind of interface. The door to the control room. The door is actually... Past the door is actually another door that will take you to the sixth floor basement of the government building. I should say something. Agent Dante, please. Mizuki needs you. Thank you. Boss, I should say something. Why are you talking to me? But boss, come on. Just l let me talk to you for a sec. Okay, Mizuki, me and you. About Abyss. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but... I'm not an ordinary policeman. I'm a super secret spy cop. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. Why are you saying it so, like, you know, like, seriously? Like, put a little bit of... Human mind with state of the art technology. Put a little bit of fun flair into it, you know? That is there our purpose. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything. People that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. Uh-huh. So... How do we get clues from these people? <laughs> we hack their brain! We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. You can't hide from yourself. Our job is to find it. Cool, nice one, good, good talk. Here's what's I'm gonna, gonna happen. Be inside your head. I'm gonna be inside your head, that's it. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Mm, oh, she's not talking to me. I wasn't realizing that. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this. Exactly, I'll cure you of your inability to speak right now. This thing is true. The person sitting here does the sinking. Sink. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. Yeah, it sounds so cool. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true okay, selves. Okay, you, you need to figure this out, okay? You can't be saying a bunch of different words that sound the same and, like, mean different things. Okay, you got... Whoever is in charge of Abyss, you gotta... Cut the, cu cut the fat, you know? People like me are called sinkers. <sighs> sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which it's Latin for dream. Somnium, Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. Me, Pewter, Boss. I don't know anybody else. At I don't know anybody else at this facility. I'm one of them. When this is all over, hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, I'm not taking you for some ice cream, dog. What should I say? When all this is over. Let's go get some sushi. Let's go get some of that stew you like. Let's go get some ramen. Let's go get some unagi. Oh, hold on. Hold on, guys. This is an important... Let's save here. This seems like an important decision, guys. This seems like an important decision. It may not seem like it, but this, this is quite important. What we choose to give to her could define the end of the run. Let's go get some sushi. This is the only one that's different. She likes this stew specifically. Let's hey, choose this one. Remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up, but it tasted so good. You were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story? Shut the or... fuck up, Iba. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Date, her heart rate is steadying. EEG is stable. Are we good Date, now? Get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent. I forgot to mention one thing. Okay, now you're gonna mention it to me, Pewter? I added a new feature to the sync system. N now you're telling me? New feature. You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. <laughs> it's very useful. Sure. Go. Okay, let's get on it, dude. Uh, no more dilly-dallying. Let's put on this sync gear. I put on my Google Cardboard. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Ready any time. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Oh, what do you mean only six any minutes? longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, what? Hold on. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. I didn't know there was a time limit. We're counting on you. Ah, uh, I'm gonna Not save. Ready? 
Let's begin. <laughs> I'm gonna say before we, you know. That's a cute animation, though. I don't know. There's a time. Is it is it real time? Six minutes, or is it gonna be like six minutes? You know, but not really. <laughs> Your consciousness will be absorbed by the. How do they find that one out? Who who did they lose to find that shit out? It's me, Iba. The fluorescent shrimp. You should taking a long time, Iba, for someone who knows that I only have six minutes. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Ah, you 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 did really well. You you're watching, you know, Ghost in the Shell, uh, well, Lead a Battle Angel. That, you have to do it naked. Is this ah like <laughs> yeah like go, yeah like uh, yes 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 yes. Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. She's trapped inside the birdcage. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Okay, well, before anything we do anything crazy, let us save here. Save slot six. Just in case there really is a time limit, because I'd, um, I'd be damned. So far, there's no timer, but maybe they'll just spring it on me the second Move I... Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. Oh, what the fuck? You can stop time? You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. Mmm. So it only appears as though time has stopped. But actually, we're just tapping into the speed force, like Barry Allen. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Yep, the theory. Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. Depending this on is everything. similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. So we have a lot of time, is what you're saying. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But we can be in here forever. But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. So there's no actual Somnium time limit. Scan. Activate. Somnium scan. Oh, she became a gold fluorescent shrimp. Well, maybe that was just her all the time. Initial lock. Men mental lock one. Okay. Mental lock two is the bird cage. Mental lock three is the inside the, the central column. Uh, how's is Mizuki? Heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki is mute by healing her mental wounds. You'll be able to get important information. Sinking into Mizuki, pain. Something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking. Oh my the god, it's spinning so fast, dude. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. The horses are wriggling, dude. An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Also, it's like vibrating. Iba. The speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. Yeah, so is the ice pig, dude. Interesting, I they're connected. See. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. Okay, then fine. I'll do so. Okay, let's see what we can do. There's a six minute time limit in the Somnium. Th there actually is six minutes? Excuse me? An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Pull it out or 50, what is it, 50-50 chance? Is that what it means? Who the fuck is Timmy? Okay, so while we're in here, the time is completely frozen. We can push it in or pull it out. This takes 20 seconds to pull it out. And this takes 10 seconds to push it in. Let's push it in, guys. Date, are you certain? Will this heal Mizuki? Who knows, dude? I don't know. Just try it. Mm, understood. <laughs> this fails the Somnium completely. Nope, it didn't work. No good. Huh? Mizuki is still a child. The solution may be simpler than you think. Just pull it Simple out, dude. Maybe, but this is a dream. Not everything goes how you expect. Okay, Shoko's photo. Shoko's photograph has an ice pick stab. Let's pull it out then. Right. 
No one would want to see their mother like this. I agree. 50-50 chance, right? One half. Oh, this becomes the highest point. It keeps going. What? <laughs> what is this? Something happened over there. Oh, there's another thing over here. The fuck? Reach the lightning. Wait, that that was the first one? Okay, shit. The pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the bird cage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Okay, let's remove the bird cage. Not too bad so far. Date, we got a timey. <laughs> a timey. Timey? It's like a Grammy. Time induction matter in encephalon. Dude, that shit make no sense. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. So I get bonus time, as you're saying. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnium. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. <laughs> why, why did you name it Timey? Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this a are terrible possible. name. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Timeys are items that affect time. You'll sometimes obtain them when you f perform an action. Timeys only affect the time taken to perform an action. You can always hold three timeys, picking up a timey when you already hold three or replace one. Timeys are expendable after one use. But use them as often as you can. Okay. This appears microphone. to be the microphone for the speaker. Okay, I can threaten it or shout at it. <laughs> I can threaten it or shout at it. Hold on, okay. This will cut this time in half. I can use the timey. Let's use the timey to threaten it. Listen up, miscreant. I know you're hiding in there. Got him. Throw down your weapon and come out with your hands up. Nothing happened. Your parents would be very disappointed. Oh yeah, in you. keep going, keep going, Iba. You can fix this. You have so much. Yeah, to give it for. to him, Iba. Give it to him. You can't give up hope now. You can't give up hope now. Yeah. You're having fun, aren't you? Okay, I'm so like... we tried. We tried. Let's try again. Just shout it. Just shout it inside. Ah! Stop it. Yeah! yeah. Stop it already. Okay, that didn't work. Control room. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Okay, let's open it. <laughs> Imagine knocking, guys. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. But you said it was easy because he's a, she's a child. Okay. Oh my God! It entered. We entered a new map. Holy moly, guys. This is the control room? I'll be honest. I expect to see this inside. Not what I expected. Thank you, Dante. I do not see an exit either. <laughs> We're There's stuck in here. Suspicious here. Two bird cages. One with balloons and I one with something two else. Bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. <laughs> Bro, what's the point of me speaking if you're just gonna say the same thing, Dante? And and I, but you tag team. Agent Dante, you've a bird got five cage minutes. with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? Call, don't call it a rubber. Yeah, don't call it a, a condom. You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. <laughs> Man, please. Well, let's. Let, okay, we can f lift it. Fifty seconds to lift it. Can I one quarter? I'm gonna one quarter to lift it. This is a great time. You time to use one quarter. This will be easy. Glad to hear it. Perfect. What? But it was so heavy. But now it's got the helium inside. Blew away the cage. Wait, that's it? That's all it took? Wait, well, why was that so easy? Oh? A deflated balloon. Retry will allow you to return to a save point just after unlocking a mental lock. But you only have three retries. Going back one lock costs one. Going back two costs two. And going back three locks will cost three. You regain three retries by selecting restart from the menu or by failing the sink. This is likely your best option if time is low. A deflated rubber. 
I told you, please call it a balloon. <laughs> what are you getting so worked up about? I can blow it. I can throw it. This one just gives me 30 seconds, right? Let's 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 do a blow up. Understood. Cause this will give me a 30 second timing. It's huge. <laughs> That's what she said. I wish your boobs were that big. <laughs> are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, I suppose I am not technically. <laughs> this is fucking shot right after. So... Date, please be quiet. She's sweating, dude. She's actually like sweating crazy. Okay. <laughs> now this blocks at the light. <gasps> Okay, that was easy. Is it, are they all supposed to be that easy? You were able to get out? Perhaps the balloon was the key. Hmm, crazy. I remember now. A story I heard from Mizuki a while back. One time when Mizuki was just a little girl, Shoko brought her a balloon. It was one of the nice helium ones. The string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shoko snapped and she scolded Mizuki for hours. Maybe that's why. Mizuki put the balloons inside the birdcage. That way they could never fly away again. But I guess Aiba and I made her relive a painful memory. Alright, now that the birdcage is off, let's get Mizuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You just, just walk into it. If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Just jump, dude. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it. This is spinning. also spinning. Select in the map icon will bring up a map of the current Somnium world. You can see your current location objects you've investigated on your Somnium map. If you're lost or want to save time, try checking the map. So there's a... That's where I am. The eyeball is there. There's also something here. And something over here and something over here. Let's go check out the panda head. Yeah, let's go check out the panda head. This one's also spinning just like the other thing. The panda is floating. Okay, so I can s slap it down. I can wear it. Let's fucking wear it, guys. Let's wear it. Wear it like this. <laughs> let's let's wear the panda. Let's go, dude. I don't think it helped anything though. But it's fucking How hilarious. Unknown. I guess that was a waste of time. <laughs> but it was, you have it to do it was though. kind of fun though. Yeah, gotta do it. The panda is... Okay, let's, let's, let's use a 30 second down. Oh, this makes it, the sets the time to 30 seconds. I was mistaken. Let's use a half timer on the slap down. I see it. The view from the top. Okay. Did it break? Well, that was pointless. Let's try. Let's try this again. Let's kick it away at, at uh, thirty seconds. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! It went fucking. Did it work? What okay. is this? Merry-go-rounds can fly? Date, over there. What happened? Oh, what the fuck? She's just there. Iris? That's Iris. What? Iris is inside the Somnium. Why? She's got... St she's got stab wounds. Iris is dead. Why is Iris... She appears to be frozen. She's in an icebox. What the hell is going on? What is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh, what the fuck? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's just some familial abuse. Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? Oh, Jesus, Shoko, come on! That hurts! That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? Oh my god, Shoko. I'm this sorry, is how you I'm give your kids sorry. trauma for life. Don't you know anything about parenting? If you weren't here, everything would be fine. Hmm. 
Huh. I'm sorry. Hmm. Apologizing means nothing. Say something. Don't make me into the bad guy. Wait, you just said to shut up. Wait, Shoko, you literally just said to shut up like two seconds ago. Here we go. Ready? Why don't you? Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun to you? You giving your mother a hard time? Now say something. Don't say something. Don't make me into the bad guy. Why do you never, never keep, keep quiet? quiet. Say, say something. something. Why, why do you, you never keep, keep quiet? quiet? Say, say something. something. Why, why do you, you never, never keep, keep quiet? quiet? Say, say something. something. It's like Don't. a rap song. What's that look, huh? Ow, I'm sorry. She's getting slapped around, dude, like a, like a panda head. I'm sorry. It's all your fault. You. Don't say some slur, please. I'm posting this on YouTube. I wish you had never been born! Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely... Shoko. Damn. What's going on here? This is a repressed memory. Obviously. Aiba, look out! Watch out, Aiba, it's coming back down! What? Aiba, Aiba, Aiba! <sighs> I was about to become a pancake. Mm, delicious. This isn't a bed and breakfast. <laughs> that frozen iris does intrigue me, but Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. I agree. If you choose the correct answer as your final action, you can eventually exceed the- You can actually exceed the 360-second time limit. Even if there it seems like you don't have a lot of time left, don't give up. You might be able to do it. Computer sleep talking. Hmm, more than one second when you clear. You get a prize. Mm -hmm. No, boss. Anything but that. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. There's so much more I can like you, you know. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside first. Seems like a merry-go-round horse. Mm hmm. I can ride it. Let's ride it for ten seconds. Let's. We can spank the horse. Hold on. Don't don't use don't use the timing. Don't use the timing. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Fuck, I did- Shit! I wanted to spank it! Shit, dude. <laughs> Her fucking face. It's not moving. Is it fun? Does it look fun? It looks fantastic, actually. It looks like you're having a lot of fun. You look cute like that. Oh, I see. She got off of it immediately. <laughs> like, does, it, does it look fun? You look cute. Oh, never mind. Spank it. Yeah. That's not a spank. That's you a punch. It? Nothing is happening. Poor horse. I said, bro, man. That's I'm not what I said. Minutes, I know, I know, I know. Let me just talk to it. Excuse me, but do you happen to know the culprit? I see. Mm. Did you something? I did. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Oh, beyond a shadow of a doubt. 95% or 80. Well, this horse is a horse. Cannot speak English. <laughs> I, I fucking knew it, dude. Okay, let's get to Mizuki. It's hmm. Mizuki. Give present, break the glass, encourage, speak kindly. I, I can give her a present? Hold on, let's give her a present. A gift? Oh, that might work. I don't have a... What? What did you find? <laughs> Dude, Mizuki. you look terrifying. Now you can have a taste of the merry-go-round every day of your life. It will also improve your health. This is not That's what I expected. This is not what I expected. It's Mizuki. Okay, uh, well, I can encourage her. Let's, let's give her a little bit of an encouragement. I can also make... 10 seconds is fine. 10 seconds. I can let's make let's use to speak kindly. Let's use one of our timies here to speak kindly. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We got you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. Why does it so, keep changing? Say something, Iba. It's all right now. Let's go, Iba. Iba is... at least she's trying, you know? Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe speaker. she needs to hear her mother's voice. Why her mother's voice? 
She's crying. <laughs> oh shit, she's talking as Shoko. Mom loves you, Mizuki. I love you. Okay, go off, Aiba. I am so glad that you were born. Let's go, let's go. So, Parental so fixing. Glad. I'm fixing your relationship with your mother. As a parent. Hey, do you hear something? A phone. Is that a phone ringing? How can the phone be Where, ringing when the time is stopped? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer! What do you mean? I, I have three minutes left. I have three entire minutes left, dude. What do you mean I can't stay any longer? Healed Mizuki with Shoku's voice. That's one of the two possibilities. Day two Mizuki A unlocked. Cool. So there's another there's another option we can explore here as well. But that is the end of the our first like uh, uh Somnium. Like, that is not of ourselves. We made it to day two Saturday. And completed Mizuki's uh, route A, it seems. Great work. With three minutes to spend, we had so much more we could have explored there, actually. Maybe next time we'll go back and, like, do some more other stuff. I'll have to figure out how that works. Are you okay? Can you speak to me, Mizuki? Say something. No. Not quite. Mizuki. No, shit! It wasn't enough. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. I had three minutes left. I, what do you mean I had no more time? I had three entire minutes. That's I've not, that's not fair. Three. That's, that's not fair. Oh, hold on. <laughs> that's not fair. I, I, I totally, I totally made it work there. Let's save really quick. I totally made it work. I was, I had the phone ringed and we had like a minutes left. I totally could have checked the phone if I wanted to, but they didn't let me. But I think, as cruel as it may be, this is a great place for us to call the episode so that next time you come back, we can find out exactly what happens to Mizuki afterward. There are two possibilities. Oh, there was a... Hold on. When you sink... We're, we're now... We're in the first split in the road already. Oh, leads are open. So if we use the other one, we could have, you know... Went on the other path. And we can begin sink from here. Oh, you can just begin it from here and then, like, keep going from the other side. Well, that's really convenient. I don't suppose... I don't know, what's a better way? Should we just, like, try to go down one tree specifically? And then, like, slowly conquer all the other trees, like, one by one? I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. Well, in any case, that is going to be something we figure out next time. We're unable to save Mizuki's voice, but perhaps this is fine. Um, maybe the more traumatic one would have been better. <laughs> like the, the, you know, stupid little whatever the fuck it is. But yeah, thanks you guys for joining in today for a really cool and exciting uh, AI the Summoning Files episode. Next time we uh, will come back and uh, do pick up where we left off and interrogate Mizuki. But until then, I appreciate you. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. You ring the notification bell. And I really appreciate if, you know, <laughs> leave a comment as well. Let me know what you think about the video. It's very, very helpful for feedback. I appreciate you and I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Late.